The following is a fan-based parody. Unlimited blade works and related materials belong to the people on the screen. Please support the official release. Where is it? Where is it? Where is that lesser grail? I wasn't expecting a gold shrine or anything, but come on! Oh, sweet lover, I am having the worst day right now. You don't mind if I vent for a bit? You're so sweet. What did I ever do to deserve a servant like you? Killed hundreds, forced me against my will, threatened friends. Oh yes, that's right. And look how it all paid off. Get bent. Oh honey, <laughs> if one of us is bent, it's most certainly not me. And frankly, I rather like you this way. But if you'd hurry up and stop resisting my command seals, we could move our relationship along to the next level. You won't get away with this. Someone will stop you. Lover, come now. By now you must have realized nothing can stop me. There is nothing and no one in this world who stands above me. None are capable of distracting me from reaching deep inside of you and taking you. <clears throat> Hello, dear. Am I interrupting something? Cutie zucchini! I'm so happy to see you! If I knew you were going to stop by, I'd have cleaned up the place. I drifted here through corridors of unrest and instinct. My mind's eye gleamed shattered vestiges of a consecrated church, stolen and gutted. Okay. Also, Strictly Dancing was on last night and you didn't show up to watch it. I thought you were either dead or won the war. Uh, did, did you record it? Yes, dear. And did you watch it without me? No, dear. Thank God. So have we won the murder competition yet? Not yet, honey bunch. But I did steal Lover and killed the practitioner. Thank God. I hate rules. Where's his body? Oh, his body? Where is his corpse, honey bunch? Surely you possess his inert cadaver. Oh, I, uh, I, I suppose I don't know. Isn't that okay? He must be dead. Well, I'm convinced. What's our next move then, little sparrow? Simple, Daddy Hawk. We break lover, use her noble phantasm to vaporize that brutish Heracles, and refill the grail to our heart's content. The end of this war is upon us. But first... Where is that lesser grail? Have you checked the lectern? Yes, I checked the lectern! Brave shine, reaching out together we can stay the night. Within my blade I'll carry all these notions. A prayer I know will see to the end. Forever I'll defend for all time. My brave shine. Mm. Oh, did I fall asleep? I know you haven't slept since Saber was taken, but I highly discourage collapsing on the edge of a caster servant's territory! That's fair. Hey, did you make this coat? Yeah, I can make coats, so what? And they're made of cashmere, I can make cashmere, not a big deal. Hey, Archer, what's your name? Hmm? Are you asking what I think you're asking? Could you tell me your true name? I never asked properly. I thought I was Lucifer or Satan or whatever version of the devil you feel like yelling at me. If the past few days have taught me anything, it's that I can be hard-headed. So I reevaluated some things and realized that the Grail probably can't summon Lucifer. Not normally, anyways. So... Who are you? I don't, uh... I don't remember. You don't remember. I have amnesia, I guess. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yep. So when you called your noble phantasms and yelled the name of Kalidbog when fighting Caster and did all your magecraft, that was all amnesia, too? Ah, uh, see, Kalidbog. So I must be Fergus McRoche. Mystery solved. Except if that were the case, you'd be the foster father of Kukulain, 
who didn't recognize you. So... Oh, drat. Looks like we're back at square one. And we almost had it, too. Oh, yeah? Yes! Looks like there was a fight here. Kirei must be dead. We, we can, can only, only hope. Ah, uh, probably not, though. He's, like, actually one of the toughest people alive. I know I recommend against this a lot, so don't take it lightly. I think we should carpet bomb the church. If Kirei's gone, we could take out Caster and Kuzuki easily that way, and if Kirei's not gone, we could take out Caster, Kuzuki, and Kirei easily that way. If we did that, Paper would get killed. Gonna be kinda hard to reunite Shiro and Paper if there's no Paper. Don't you think they're Mr. Memory McNoham? Reunite them? Tell me you're kidding. We talked about this, Reen! Because I slept on it and got over being angry and realized something, Archer. I like being around Shiro. You read me? Reen! No, 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 no. You listen to me. I think Shiro's a good person. A dumb person, but a good guy. I trust Shiro Emiya because I know he'd never betray me. He's proven to me I can trust him. In fact, being around him makes me feel grounded and mutually dependent upon. I trust Shiro Emiya! Hey! Why do you have amnesia? Mommy, why is that sword man bleeding so much? Because he doesn't have a sense of his own limits and compulsively has to help others, sweetie. Now come along before he offers you candy. I hope his journey nears its completion. Typical Fulukians trying to psychoanalyze you in the streets. Where are they when the sky opens up and hellfire starts pouring out? Not digging orphans out of fire, that's for sure. Case in point, this town needs a hero. Okay. Came here to ask the priest for advice. Stumbled onto something way different. Or maybe I just locked them off with you huh? and hung them on the wall. Was that Reen? Are you going to bore me to death with these meaningless threats? Or is telling stories your only useful skill? I must say, if you're casting a sleep spell, it's starting to work. Huh? What is she doing to Tiger Mom? How dare she try to loot Saber? Are you bored? So sorry. I'm just granting you the final moments deserved by a calf about to be slaughtered. <laughs> See that? That's the thing you said. When I said that, I was bluffing. Are you bluffing? Hey, Archer, you can take out Kuzuki, right? It should be no problem for a servant to defeat a human. That said... And while you're taking on Kuzuki, I'll lay a smackdown on our resident witch. Hmm. Ah, of course. It should be no problem for a human to defeat a servant, silly me. Oh, how sweet this will be. Just the four of us, with Archer announcing himself up front instead of making a sudden mid-scene appearance. I do love it when everything is so predictable. You just stay comfortable over there, babe. She poisoned the dress! I'm in constant pain! Not a problem! I'll put her down, come over there, and suck the poison out of your body myself. Consider it your reward for that crazy magic resistance you have. If you can kill her, you can do whatever you want. Just get me out of this thing. Then let's get to it. Time to teach her the meaning of 100% maximum. Oops, my hand slipped. <laughs> that was not the plan. <laughs> Oops. My whole body and sword slipped. Et tu, Archer Tay? So, compromise though. Hmm? I thought you couldn't stand Caster! We talked about this! I guess I slept on it and got over being angry. Or something like that anyways. Caster! I'm not going to be an easy sale, but I have a couple questions for you. You claim that with Saber under your control, you could defeat Berserker, right? Of course. I observed a partial deployment of her noble phantasm before. With enough mana, she can obliterate most or all of Berserker's resurrections. Well, then I guess I'm an easy sale after all. I owe you an apology. Is that bastard betraying Reen? What the fuck, man? Archer, 
Archer, I can't let you do this. If you turn to her side, I'll use my last command seal to- Then do it! Don't waste my time trying to intimidate me, girl. If you've got it in you to command me to kill myself, then shut your mouth and put me down! I'm not interested in watching you work up to another smart move, only to back down when the hardest part is in front of you. You can't tolerate me? Fine! Then do it! But... That's what I thought. Maybe one day you'll grow up to become a decisive, powerful mage. But right now the difference between us is like night and day. I'm squashing this spider once and for all. <laughs> oh, this is too rich. Not only did I steal lover from you, but your archer as well? <laughs> All right. Archer, tell me so that I can trust you. What is your wish? And what is your true name? Don't got one, don't know it. Come again? He, he doesn't have a wish, supposedly. And he says he has amnesia. Yeah, pretty stupid, right? He's so obviously lying. Pardon my skepticism, but you're betraying your previous master to side with someone whose methods you can't stand so that you can achieve a non-existent wish? I could just kill you if you don't like this. And rule breaker. Ah, you bitch, I'll murder you! The evening bell tolls, young lady. Put up your dainty dukes and prepare for entropy. Hold it! Huh? Uh, looks like it's finally time! I'm gonna prove I'm full of Shit, I forgot what doesn't work! Does it work? Ah! Shiro, why did- Later you can chew me out, but right now... It's big dumb hero time! Hey! Hey! Stop making those! Shiro, come on! You still got a massive hole in your chest! That was certainly fun. I'm happy to supply more enemies if you want to keep exhausting yourself. Caster. Why don't you set them free for now? That wasn't our deal. I have altered the deal. At this point, the only servants not under your control are Lancer and Berserker. Even if they sided with these two, they wouldn't be any more threatening. Let these children stew in their regret for having lost their war here, and succumb to despair as they realize they couldn't even help a single person. Ooh, I like new evil Archer. Where's this been? <laughs> what can I say? I guess this is just me freed from a certain ball and chain. I should have used that first command seal to make you obey everything I said, huh? Would have been nice to have an obedient servant. I'm relatively confident literally nothing would have been different. I'm in a giving mood today. You two are free to go. Of course, if we see you again... You'll be dead! My thoughts exactly. Fine, we're going. I'm disappointed in you, Archer. I finally realized that you aren't Lucifer, only to find out you really are the devil. Let's find a hill. To do what? I don't know, to bury you on? I figured you seemed so determined to die that we might as well save everyone the trouble and just stick you in the ground! You're just speaking out of hurt. Yeah! The hurt in my stomach from being slapped across the church basement, the hurt in my pride for having lost favor, and Archer to that Grecian hussy, and the hurt in my heart from some moron trying to... Yeah, let's just find a field! Go, uh, why do we need a field? Because if anyone hears me say what I want to say, I'm going to kill myself and anyone around me! Okay, let's find a hill. All right, so, scold away. I know I deserve it. You're stupid. I am. You're reckless. Yes. You're dumb. Same as stupid, but you got me. You're... You're stupidless. Frankly, you're throwing softballs here. You know, when this all started, I just wanted the cup. And like, last war I bumped into a master by accident and almost took them down and I was like, six. So like, I thought it'd be kind of easy. It all seemed like fun and games. And then you happened, and Archer kept telling me I had to kill you, and... Gah! He's right, isn't he? I can't do anything hard. Same. I thought I'd have a chance to prove I could be a hero, but... Like my dad said, it turned out to be complicated. 
Then Archer threw a wrench into things with his Hitler talk. <sighs> I know it's not right to try and throw my life away for others, but I just can't accept that it's wrong either. Even though I tried so hard to make you go away. Yeah, you didn't account for my million complexes, though. I'm irrational, I'm short-sighted, I've got tunnel vision when people are in danger, I'm in love, I have the self-awareness of a pineapple. Whoa, hold up! Stop the confession train! In love with who? What? Baber? Sakura? Archer? Because if it's Archer, I got some really awkward news. Oh my god, no! No, 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 no. I, I, I like I, you, I, I like you. Was this a bad time? Back on the rooftop, you yelled that you liked me. And also, fuck you anyways! Which still stands! I thought you knew. Can I rewind by 20 seconds, please? I think I've misread what's going on here. I've tried to kill you twice! Led us into a trap that lost your servant and berated you since we started working together. Why in the world would you- Okay, so here's the thing about love. You ready for this? It's kind of stupid. Really stupid. I'm also pretty stupid, so I'm kind of just steering into it at this point. Besides, you're a hard worker, you're endlessly passionate, you call me out of my nonsense, which is something I probably need. Besides, who doesn't want a woman who can kick their ass? <laughs> and this might sound weird or rude, because I'm me and this probably sounds more suave in my head, but you have an ass that countries would go to war over. Like, oh my god, it's just, ugh. Get out of here with that thing. If Helen of Troy were a butt, that's where she'd be. 100% maximum no chill? More like 100% maximum thick. Uh, too much? Why'd you stop talking? <laughs> I assumed you weren't done. Oh, I could go on. You can see that thing from space, thigh gap and all. If the human race could mathematically calculate an equation for bliss, it'd be eyes over that booty equal <laughs> You know, I've been confessed to by a lot of guys and my fair share of girls, but I think that might be the best one I've heard. I guess I give up. You win. I win? Yeah. You beat me. Shiro Emiya, you have defeated Rin Tosaka thoroughly and completely. But I'm not gonna let you kill yourself. You got that? I called dibs, remember? You're mine. No pink or purple haired bitch from ancient Greece gets you. Your property of Rin Tosaka as of this moment. So you're okay with unlimited comments about your butt? Bitch, I know what I got. You go hard. I have upturned every inch of this place! I've opened every cask, flipped every table, drained the many bottles of wine, and I don't even want to know what the priest was doing with that room full of emaciated orphans. Just, where is the Lesser Grail? The Lesser Grail is in Iliusville von Einsburn. The Master of Berserker. The same. After the Second Holy Grail War, certain rules were revisited and enforced due to a certain killing spree. In particular, the Einsburns observed that the Grail needed to be better protected so its vessel wouldn't be stolen. From the Third War and forward, they offered up homunculi to serve as the vessel for the Lesser Grail. Until four or five servants die total, Ilias Veal will remain active and pre-programmed to protect the ritual against sabotage. You are just a wellspring of information. Does Reen also know this then? Nah, she rarely ever asked my opinion on anything. And when it was offered, generally ignored it. If we'd acted as I saw fit, I'm confident that you, Shiro, Saber, and Assassin would all be gone. Goodness. I think I believe you. Why don't you incentivize me to be helpful in the future, Master? Tell me a bit about yourself. Soichiro Kuzuki is not a mage, just a lethal weapon. Whatever happened to your original Master? Did you eat him? You ate him, didn't you? <sighs> Do you want the short version or the long version? A Bridget for me. I was summoned, then he mocked and slapped me, so I burned his lab and freed his orphans. Okay, I changed my mind and freed his orphans. I want the long version. All right, well, buckle in. I'll try to hit the important beats. How wonderful life is, now you're in the world. Welcome.
welcome, Medea, Princess of Colchis. We are competing in a Holy Grail War. Uh, are you familiar with the concept? Holy Grail War? Killy Death Ritual! Y you do speak Japanese, don't you? I do, Master. I am pleased to form my contract. All right, that's about enough small talk, I think. Let's get down to summoning that dragon! Dragon. You know the one. Whip out the fleece, throw it on the floor, and summon up that Colchis dragon. Baby, you know you want to. This, this room's big enough for that dragon, right? I don't know the size. I'm sorry, master. But I don't have the means to make use of the Argon coin as a noble phantasm. Oh, you hear that, girls? Can't even summon a dragon. <laughs> Princess, Princess, you are on the fast track to Slap City. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! See this shit? State-of-the-art modern mage trap, baby! Orphans go in, ether crystals come out. Ever heard of the Tosaka jewel magic? Get ready for that to be a thing of the past! Time for a demonstration! Ah, that's the result of, um... Six human lives? Crazy, right? Doesn't that get you in the mood to summon a phantasmal beast of the winged draconian variety? This shit is top-notch, Medea. So we won't be needing any of that high-level magecraft of yours. You read me? I mean, look at this thing. And look at all those orphans. That's some ballin' orphan stock right there. Toe sucker? More like toe suck my dick. Ick. What is that thing? This? It's the residual mana in and around this lifeless kiln. Impossible! Sorry to cut in, but he summoned a caster, got upset when his non-rider servant wasn't able to summon a dragon that their legend never actually mentioned them summoning or controlling, then got upset when you, a caster, could perform magecraft better than he could? Yeah. Rather shocked that I, Princess Medea, was able to do the thing I was summoned because I can do. I'm starting to see why he's not around anymore. Tell me honestly, did you eat him? I assume you mean his soul? I'll rush to the point. He got scared, slapped me, did something at the church with a letter as I recently found out. I burned his lab, freed myself with Rule Breaker, freed the orphans, and then when he got mad, I trapped him in a nightmarish labyrinth within his mind while his body burned to a crisp. And then you ate his soul. I may have desperately needed mana without a master, but there's no way I was consuming that man's essence. I don't put things in my mouth if I don't know where they've been. Seems like a waste. <laughs> Oh, and then the good part happened. Wait, you're not done? There I lay, without mana upon the ground, rain beating down on my body as life slipped away, and an angel appeared suddenly to rescue me. Okay. He took me to his temple, for he was a man of discipline and spirituality. I said to him weakly, Oh, sir, you need not take pity upon this poor malcontent. I am but a humble girl trying to find her way in this crazy, topsy-turvy world. Then he gave me a loving look and said, Madam, sweet mistreated soul, I shall aid you however I may, that you may find a spark of happiness until the end of my days. Yeah, that's totally how Kuzuki talks. And then I extracted Mama from him, and our beautiful relationship began. <laughs> so tell me, when you extracted mana, did you go the blood route? Or the berry white route? Good sir! How dare you imply that I, a refined princess and reserved lady, totally got the pounding I so thoroughly deserved after dealing with that disgusting man, Atrum. What kind of name is that? Atrum. What is he? A house? Gotta love mana transfers. Blood's efficient and souls are sweet. But when you need to give a servant mana in a hurry, Nothing seems to beat banging it out. Archer. 
Come to kill me? Whoa well, now. I used the door so you knew I wasn't trying to kill you. I can walk through walls. Apologies. I assume everyone who enters a room alone with me is there to kill me. Even students? Yes. The first student to come to class every day is rather terrifying. It was usually Emiya or Tosaka, funny enough. Perhaps it's destiny they are now my enemy. Ah, <sighs> funny. So, I was just talking to Castor about her past master, and it got me thinking. You seem like a man with a story. What would it take to get you to spill the narrative beans? Why the interest in our past? Let's just say I'm sating some old curiosities. I see. Well, prepare yourself for a riveting story then. A dip into a dark pool so deep, you may get swallowed up entirely. You're getting me all excited over here. You see, my story starts like most. I was born at a young age, and soon after, grew with age. I was part of an assassin organization that trained me to be a lethal weapon. I met a teacher in an elevator one time, and reactively snapped his neck. As his life slipped away, that's when I learned I didn't like people entering rooms alone with me. I thought it would be very secret agent of me to take his name and job. So I became Kazuki Yamashiro in that dead man's place. I was deployed soon after to Fuyuki where I took on his role. But since I had no teaching skills, I just spoke like I was a teacher. Until they gave me a job as a drama teacher. So the way you talk at school is... That's how you think people talk. That's you blending in. It took me four years to realize people didn't talk that way. But by that point, that was my thing. I was the scary drama guy. I steered into it. Why were you deployed to the school, Mr. Yama? Yeah, Kuzuki. You're not going to believe this. There was a high-ranking target with mafia connections I was sent to observe. Someone linked to a famous mage killer, a renowned swordsman and kendo practitioner, and well-connected wellspring of youth and energy. Taiga? You were sent to kill Taiga Fujimura! You, an assassin trained to such a degree that you can fight servants under the right conditions. Arguably one of the most dangerous people on the planet among non-mages. Were sent to kill Taiga Fujimura? It may seem silly, but she's dangerous. There's no lie here. My superiors claimed that if she were dropped on a third world country, aimed to destroy them, she would kill one third, inspire one third, and teach the other third ugh, math. Ah! Math is dangerous in the wrong hands. I see. So then you got involved with Castor, and now you're involved in a Holy Grail War. Why's that? I suppose I might have some attraction to this objective mechanical competition. It is thoughtless. I do not believe in good or evil, right or wrong. So to fight a colorless battle... You've got a crush on Medea. <laughs> What's this now? Sorry, what? You want to get your smooch on with the pointy-eared foreign exchange student. Come on, we're both guys. Tell me I'm wrong. As, uh, well, I think it's more complicated than... Maybe, I don't know, who's asking? I heard you already got it on with her once, you dog. She, she needed mana. Yeah, she did. This is inappropriate. Yep, totally. Lucky for me, we don't have an HR manager for me to get reported to. Caster saw to that. You sure you're not here to kill me? Because I'm feeling very attacked right now. You ready for me to blow your mind? Ever heard of a manic pixie dream girl? You can't be saying that Medea is a- You are a manic pixie dream girl. Medea unknowingly needs you to help push her pursuit of her own happiness. And in doing so, you enable her to not graduate beyond her own immaturities and biases. You abandoned your own pursuit of happiness. So she could be happy. You may not be manic. You may not be a pixie. You may not be a girl. But you, Soichiro Kuzuki, are a manic pixie dream girl in a suit and dress shoes. Wow. I think I need to go outside. I am a manic pixie. 
Dream girl. Yep. Hey, I guess that makes you Kate Winslet. This is the most alive I've ever felt. That is upsetting if true. And around the trunk, and the wrap goes into the hole, and... There! I may not be Kirei, but I can tie a bandage like no one's business. You did replace my whole heart using that pendant that one time. Yeah, hey, that took ten actual years of mana and could have been used like a small-scale noble phantasm. So maybe we don't talk about that wasteful night ever again. You got it. Hey, uh, do we have to do nicknames? Until Castor and Kuzuki are out of our lives, I don't even want to think about nicknames. Speaking of, I think it's time we focus on what we're going to do about them. Yeah. Our only option is a sneak attack or something, right? Good idea, good idea. Counter idea. Tomorrow we're going to head to the Ironsburn Castle. Oh yeah, of course. Why though? Because we need Berserker. Oh yeah, Berserker. The one who tried to kill us in the streets, an archer nuked, and whose master can make little mini-mages that fought you to a standstill and who threatened me in the street that first night. Yeah. We're going to go ask for their help. Of course! Hey, hey, Rian, sorry for the outburst, but I thought I was the suicidal one! Welcome to Season 2. Production on Episode 9 is already underway. If you would like to see behind-the-scenes footage of actors recording, episodes being made early, or early previews of scenes, please consider supporting our Patreon. We also have a weekly D&D show on Saturdays called Vestige of a Fucus, and a bi-weekly Devil May Cry-inspired D&D show on Thursdays called Devils Might Surrender, which you can find on the Twitch channel Nat19Official. It's becoming quite the spectacle. Finally, Thank you to all of our patrons. Your patience with us has been phenomenal, and we can't express how much we appreciate it. In particular, we'd like to thank our $100 patrons. Dad Luzov, Video Gamer 75, Ben Meltzer, Krenko the Assassin, Bandit 1683, and Marius Ploska. Thank you very much. Well, back to sitting down for hours I go. Ooh, a cricket. Shiro!